In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful and engaging storybook for kids using Canva and ChatGPT. Whether it's for your kids, a school project, or just for fun, this step-by-step -step guide will help you create a professional-looking storybook with ease. So, let's get started. The first step is to create the story. For this, we'll use ChatGPT. Start by entering a simple prompt like, write a short story for kids. It'll give you some suggestions you can use. If you want something more specific, try a prompt like, write a short story for kids that's entertaining and educational. Then the AI will generate a story for you. Take a moment to read through the story. If you like it, great. If not, click the Regenerate button, and ChatGPT will write a new version for you. You can try different prompts to create any story you want. Now, once you're happy with the story, copy it and paste it into a notepad. This will make it easy to edit and customize any part of it later. For this tutorial, I've written a short rabbit story to demonstrate the process. Now, head over to Canva. In the search bar, type Story and select the Storybook option. Here, you'll find a variety of templates to choose from, or you can start with a blank canvas. Let's begin by adding a background image. Go to Elements and search for an image that matches your story. For example, I'll choose this one, increase its size to fill the canvas, and then right-click to set it as the background. Next, copy the first part of your story from Notepad and go back to Canva. Add a text element. Paste your text, resize it, and position it where you want. For the font, I recommend something playful like the comic font. Adjust the font size and position until it looks just right. Now, let's add some images to match the story. Open Canva in another tab and look for the Dream Lab feature in the sidebar. This is an AI image generator that creates images for your story. For example, our story is about a rabbit, so I'll type create a rabbit for a kid's story and click create. Then it will generate four images. Choose the one you like best. I'll select this one for my story. Once you have your character, click add image and set a style reference. Then select the character you just created. This means you can use the same character throughout your story. Then type the first part of your story in the text box and DreamLab will generate images that match your story. Choose the best one, copy it, and add it to your page in Canva. Adjust the size and position to fit your design. To make your pages look even better, scroll down in the Elements tab and look for frames. You can use these to add more creativity to your images. Now duplicate the page and repeat this process for all the pages. Copy the next part, add it here, then generate the image. By the way, if you don't like the images in first attempt, then click Create again, and it will generate new images. Then copy the one you like and add it in your page. Now we've added some pages. To make it look even better, you can search for blob frames and use it for a fun look. If you want custom frames, you can use the Frame Maker app in Canva. This app allows you to create unique frames tailored to your design. I've already made a complete tutorial on my channel. Be sure to check it out. Once your storybook is ready, let's turn it into a digital flipbook. Click Share, then More, and scroll down to the simple booklet flip option. Then connect it with Canva. If you don't already have an account, create a free one. It only takes a minute. I already have an account, so I'll log in and click on Export Your Design. Then, go back to Canva and click Save. Once it's complete, click View on Simple Booklet. Give your flipbook a name and click Convert. Once it's done, you'll have a stunning digital storybook that flips pages just like a real book. So that's how you create a kid's storybook in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if want to know the best Canva apps that can take your designs to the next level, check out this video. I'll see you there.